come at the project squash this is her pee. now today i'm going to give you the update on the british tourist or british visitor who was killed in Ironman, right and i'm also going to be talking about the big dad coke bus at the norman man international airport that involved a quote-unquote prominent mp and you see the well a prominent mp's brother you see the media right when the story first went down was being very vague you know we we'll talk about who the mp is and why this is really interesting we we'll could start off with sean Patterson. who was killed in Mobile. he's actually the first person to die in St. James this year. Headline said British personal trainer killed in Jamaica. Right. All different kind of tabloids. British tourists killed up. Huh? Sound like a tourist getting randomly targeted by one of Ironman's many 87s. Right out of the jump, I dismissed this as unicorn meat. Core unicorn. 87s of an MO and randomly murdering tourists isn't one of them. But tell us anytime when you see them things that go down, something in a something. Right. We now have a better understanding as to what went down and more information on the parties involved. Now I'm going to play a clip from Fitz Bailey right, and I'm going to tell you about the quote unquote personal trainer right, because that's all. The media was saying, especially when time they, you know, when they search him name, they say all the British people them, them just say, right, it's a personal trainer. This is what Mr. Bailey had to say. Listen up. Shane Patterson is well known to the UK authorities and has an extensive criminal record for a number of offences, which include narcotics, violence, and firearms. Our investigation so far has theorized that the murder was a contract killing that emanated from Britain. There is no evidence that Patterson was robbed or has any connection in Jamaica. So now we see Sean Patterson is more than just a quote unquote personal trainer. So the police have detained someone right, who basically helped run the program for him. This is an international program. The money they more lamp on, right? The street name is Shaba. And ironically, he's a snake too. He was in the UK, right? But he got convicted of some crimes and was deported to Ironman. Now we'll play a video clip of him and Sean Patterson on the same day Sean Patterson was killed. You can't make this up. Check this out. So that's him and Sean hours before you lose him life. Matter of fact, in the JCF conference, when the year is talking about you know, he was found in grey shots and you can see the same grey shots matter about in that video. Sean Red Shabba, right? You used to send him clothes and all kind of things from the UK, you know. Drop a yard, link up with him. You look like you rate him and trust him. Well, Sean had a price on his head. And his foes in the UK right, run a program on him. You see, Shabba claims say, you know, him and Sean were outside and 87 does magically appear out of nowhere and start shoot up Sean alone. Right. Shabba claims say he escaped into nearby bushes. I'm not making this up. He actually said he escaped in bushes. Right. He then tried to play the role of witness. You know, saying, oh, you know, I turned around and I just, I'm going to shoot off him. And, you know, so, so I tried to tell the police I'm going to go on like, say, you know, just get caught in the madness. Except people actually see him and the shooter attack moments before him got killed Sean. Right? Because Sean was inside of the house or inside of the villa. Right? And then he come out for dead. How convenient. So this hit is coming all the way from the UK. Another case of a foreign criminal helping push Ironman murder rate in the wrong direction. We saw the data for 2022. Right? Is the minority of the visions responsible 
with the majority of the murders. It seems pretty straightforward that this is where the government needs to put even more resources right, in these divisions. For example, I tell them to say, I'm a big fan of the biker police. Then. Places like St. James, places like Westmoreland, bikes supposed to have bikes until you have one that can start a dealership. St. Catherine North, you need to see so much bike police that you have one that you can deliver food. That's so much bike police you need to see. And the benefit of these type of police officers is that one, right, they're more mobile, they're not getting stuck in the traffic, right, they can quickly zip, 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 right. Enough 87s are used bike to carry out them shooting because they can get very easy. Well, police can play the same game. Criminals are mobile, so the security forces need to be mobile too. The days are being stationary and having a post over here, so, and then wait till something and for respond to it. Them days are done. Now I'm sure the government are going to say, yeah, but we, we did increase resources. Well, need worry more. Because when you find money spent on foolishness that don't deliver any tangible results, so about spending money on things now we know have an effect on the ground. Instead of taking billions to give to the crop when them quote unquote run program for the youth and the bad no where money gone, right? What about spending it on things like the witness protection program? Right? The people who actually help, you know, get conviction in the court? I don't know, I'm no expert. Just a little suggestion, Malik YouTuber. Also another problem JCF have and if work on is retaining top talent. Right? There are some talented members dedicated members of the security forces, but enough of them get fed up and gone about their business. But I digress. Let me get back to the Sean Patterson case. So this isn't even a local beef. The man them have issued a fine, but it was settled in Ironman. The man who ordered the hit likely thought it was easier to get away with murder in Ironman than in the UK. Probably take Ironman justice system for fool. The JCF have some good intel, so we right, could see what happen in the coming days. If you are wondering why it's a big press conference draft week, it's because we're not ready to go and goose. Right. When time you see the headlines, British personal trainer, British tourists killing it all over the media, right, they must have clear it up. They must make it known and say, listen, this is not just some random tourists getting killed because they don't know the foreign media is not really interested in that context, right? They must have put out them headlines. And that can be damaging to the golden goose. And as you know, right, the government simply cannot have that happening. So I have to make sure clear it up fast. Eh? It's not right, some random tourists that get gone down by 87. So Billy Joe and Gwyneth, no need to cancel right, your ticket to Harry, man. Jump on the plane and enjoy the jerry chicken. Harry. Now, remember to talk about the big dad coke bus right, at the airport. You might have heard them catch a man at the normal man international airport right, that try trip out 600,000 US worth for that coke that's almost 100 million Irish dollars at first they were being uh, you know we look into it you know, pending investigations blah 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 you know just like with the presser remember the presser case they were so big until they said man wanted but they not tell you who right. very spooky behavior by the way what happened to presser if they wanted again Anyway, when they were being vague about, you know, the man is said to be related to a prominent eh? Let's just cut the crap. Uh, the man is the brother of Michael Phillips, who is the MP for Northwest Manchester and the son of Peter Phillips. However, this brother is not Peter Phillips' son. Uh, the man Michael Phillips shared the same mother. Right? Based on what Michael Phillips is saying when he tried to file towards me to himself away from his brother. Get it 5,000 meters and distance himself. But this writer saw is a direct quote from Mikhail Phillips, so only the matter. I quote He is my elder brother, half blood, who has not resided in Jamaica for 30 years. End quote. Half blood? Yeah, the man said half blood. Is, is that like Twilight? Is, is he half human, half vampire, half blood? You know how long I'm going to hear them things there? So let me tell you, Jamaica's elite, sophisticated, you know, highly educated folks are interesting people. The man said half blood. So is he like a, a day walking vampire? Does the sun affect him? 
How is Mikael Phillips planning to release a Junior Reed remix to one dub? What theme version I gonna say? They could have come from Africa, they could have come from Canada. Half blood, half blood. They could have been an Irishman or an Englishman. Half blood, half blood. Interesting times. I wonder if this brother had brought the Unjimita record. I wonder if Mikael Phillips would be walking around calling him half blood. Yo, Mikael, the brother just brought the Unjimita record and him run. He run it in a 6.3 seconds. Yo, the man that my half blood. No, that wouldn't happen. That wouldn't happen. He may be full blood. Matter of fact, he may have so much blood in that change in name to hemoglobin. So even though Mikael Phillips said, you know, he's resided in America for 30 years. That might be his home, but clearly he traveled to Ironman on the regular. You see, when time them catch things at the airport, he must take away himself. JC if I take a look for him. Right. You wish by them catch him? Right. Kingston sticks up at St. Andrew. Obviously the optics don't look good. You see Jamaican politicians still say. We're going to do everything we can to look for these criminals and look for this and look for that. Look at them and if you look too far. Sometimes the criminal they right across. They eat dinner table. Sometimes you have passed the lettuce and the oxtail and the curry unicorn uh, to said criminal. Mr. People on social media are the best. Him the most know nothing, him the most know nothing. Alright, that's cool. It's not impossible. But here's the thing. If you believe that Phillips knew nothing of this, or nothing of the activities of this brother, the half-blood, the walking vampire, it's a half-blood. If you're one of the people them, who are saying you're giving the benefit of the doubt to uh, your favorite politicians. So then they know nothing about this operation this you tell They know nothing about to. Uh, if you're giving them the benefit of the doubt, then you must also give the benefit of the doubt to sci fi family. If you see, because I know it already, the two people in Ironman uh, with the biggest fan base. Uh, are politicians and entertainers. Those two groups have the most diarted set of fans. So just like how you give your favorite politician the benefit of the doubt, you give your favorite artist them the benefit of the doubt, no matter how much things happen, no matter how things look spooky, no matter what come out, you're still getting the benefit of the doubt. It's a lie they tell, not to go stay in the most, no lie they tell, let them try to set him up, cool. Make sure it's the same on the treat, sci-fi family. When sci-fi are bigger crime, granny, brother, father, say, me never know say, him la do all of this. On the jump up and say, oh you have to know this, oh you have to know that, don't say that. Give them the benefit of the doubt the same way you give the few politicians. And if you be that. The same way you say, but they don't must know, not because I mean, they don't must know. Right. Say the same thing. Uh, with AJ Naki's family. Uh, so, if that's how you see it, uh, as they say, you know, nothing to do with it. if you're a politician, which is completely possible, sure. If you want to give him, bring to the door. Just make sure you extend that to the regular youth on a Larry Stan uh, and Sal Make sure you want to give Fidem family the benefit of the door. Them no none. They're not for me. They're not for them. Right. This is a one-off. He was operating in a vacuum. Right. And nobody knew more. Anyway, the chat squad, big up on the cell. Yeah, yeah, you don't know more life. Ultra squad, stay circling. Bless.